Oh, you guys want to follow along with me? I'm going to rest this. I think we can knock this other app out in five minutes. Let's do it. So, typing widget every time. Quick question. Next question is it code. So, this question, we're going to want to switch into something they type in themselves. Not location, text. Oh, and then the attribute and the zip. So knowing how far they are from the business is pretty important. This is a pretty good template to kind of run through right now. It's pretty straight to the fore and covers a lot of good stuff. They also have the form option. You can make the form option break down into something like this as well. And keep that in mind. Um, oh, I pressed the wrong button there. So, got it. Enter the address below. So, once again, text. And then we're going to make this address. Let's give this five seconds. Uh, so I'm not really sure how I feel about this on a personal level, but this is just a template, so we're just going to run through it. So I'm trying to find the roof. Like, so to me, this is a bold face lie. Like, I don't mind, though. I like using chatbots. And I think they're, like, you know, it's more efficient to get answers out of a chatbot than a person. A lot of times, people can't even answer the question to ask somebody. Um, a lot of all the stuff I think a chatbot could help us with. <clears throat> that kind of stuff. Waste of time. <clears throat> so those are just two confirmations. They were just texts. You can pretend to be a text in the middle. Like I said, it's up to you. You can keep that in yours. For the sake of that. I'm just going to leave it in the template. But I'm not really fucking doing it now. To call it. Like street food people, yeah, this is ridiculous. Um, so this is enter in, so text. Same one over again. We're almost done. I don't know if we're, we're close on time or not. But you guys are going with me here. Oh, you might be going ahead of me now. Who knows? Um, let me speed it up. Actually, with that being said. So here we're asking the steepness of the roof. Low. Let's see, low, high, or peak or whatever. We'll change that later. Um, low, high, or flat. Might be like a very high. We know there's different pitches in the roofs. Um, 
or just to get for sales and just getting an answer, getting engagement, getting your broad idea is good. Let the sales rep go figure out that exact detail. Uh, steep APX and then approximate. It's better if you can fill out these kind of like button style questions. It's, I would think for the most part they're easier to answer. Um, people most likely do. Let's put insurance. Why in? Yes, no. It says stay red. Let's see what's wrong with it. Attribute. Oh, I didn't save the attribute. Let's add new. That's happening to anybody. go cage of the roof all right so now we got Questions out. What kind of work needs to be done? Let me make that a text. Or to be done. Or I mean, you never make it a multiple choice, still make it easier. Let me do a new roof. So this particular bot uh, kind of plays with that line. We see we're out of time. I might be a little over, ooh, we're way over on this one. All right, so so far about 15 minutes in. There's 10 more minutes to finish that. That's because I was talking or not, but whatever. Um, and uh. The last couple of questions are the ones that we should probably do in a separate video because they're the most important when you're making a questionnaire like this for your business or your client. So we'll stop right here.